Hey there YouTube, what's going on? This is W Brochuber right here from the iPhone Fix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, work with timers and randomly spawning actors in game silence. So why don't we go ahead and jump into this because I know we've only got a limited amount of time. Uh, go ahead and jump into a new project. I already have one created. This is from one of my games. It's, uh, it's, uh, if it's not already in the App Store, it's going to be very soon called the Fenger Universe. You can go ahead and check that out if you'd like. Uh, but go ahead and jump into a new project in game silence. Call it whatever you'd like. Uh, and jump into your first scene, and what you want to do is automate is create... Um, we're going to create a few new attributes. And uh, what I created was I created one called Game Timer Score, or in this case, you can just create uh, call it Timer. Uh, and that's going to be an integer attribute. So you're going to tap the little plus button down here, select integer, and create games, uh, and just call it Timer. And the next one you want to do is, is uh, create one and call it Choose. So you can create one and uh, call it Choose. All right, next, what you want to do is. Um, Go and click in your actors, and you'll want to add a few actors depending on whether you already have them added or not. Um, we'll be working with a few different spaceships here, just a few different ones that I've created. Uh, and so what you want to do after this is uh, create a new actor and uh, call it Timer. You can go ahead and jump into this. And um, what you're going to want to do is create an attribute that says... Uh, so I'm going to create a new rule, then attribute, select attribute, then game dot timer, or in this case game timer score for me, is, and then I want you to select, as you can see, is greater than or equal to zero, then go down here and add a timer, every one second change attribute, so add a change attribute that's located right here. Change attribute game dot timer to game dot timer plus one. So all you've got to do is go into your equations here, select this, game dot timer, and then type in plus one. Alright, next what you want to do is go over here where you see uh, where you have this selection where it says color, tap on it, and I want you to drag the the occupancy, if I can pronounce that correctly, all the way down to zero. Uh, next, drag a display text, which is located right there, and display text, tap the E, and then select game.timerscore, and you can change the font, the color, whatever you want. In this case, mine's green. Okay. Next, what you want to do is you have your timer down, that's good. Um, next, go on ahead and create another actor. Uh, this one is going to be called Spawn Spaceship. And that's going to be if you want to spawn just this actor. You can go ahead and tap on Spawn Spaceship. And you want to create a rule. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to tell you the other thing you have to do with your game.timer. Uh, so if you go back into game, uh, to the game timer, now, after this, what you want to do is, I've set mine up a little bit differently than what you'll need to do, um, but you want to create a rule, uh, and then do an attribute, game.timer, so we'll say when game.timer is greater than or equal to zero, er, uh, you can, you'll drag in a timer, that we'll say every three seconds or whatever time you want uh, your enemy to spawn you will want to click on or drag a change attribute in there and say game dot choose so change attribute game dot choose and then you want to select insert function random and then depending on how many actors you have that are spawned you will put let's say if you had three one comma three if you had five one comma five so there you go there's that rule and what's that what that is going to do is every three seconds it's going to randomly uh, change um, the number or the integer attribute that you created to a number between one and five okay next now that after you've done this you will want to go back out uh, create a new actor I'll just call this spawn spaceship what it, you could spawn actor whatever you want to do and you'll go into this and all you're gonna see is you'll create a rule when attribute 
game.choose is equal to 1 for your first actor. So you'll say every time it randomly selects the number 1 you want, you'll go down and select spawn actor. Spawn actor, select your actors, in this case mine is spaceship. In front of actor, relative, and then all this you'll decide on your own. Uh, and be sure that you change the occupancy on that to zero as well. Okay. So basically what you'll do is do that exact same thing uh, over and over again for however many actors you need. Now you may say, well, it would be nice to just have one um, actor that spawned all of them. So let's say you all you had them coming out of one place. So I mean, in, in the game I'm working with right now, I had to center them all on this object right here. So the way I had them placed, they all had to be directed in certain ways. That's why I just couldn't have one going flat across the bottom and them all spawning up like this. But if you want to do that, you can just create one actor. And you can just call it spawn. And the only thing that you'll want to do is drag all your rules in here. Drag it the entire length of the uh, screen. And where it says position, uh, I, th you, I think you just want to set that to random. Set both of these. And, and just be sure that uh, its position in terms of uh, facing up is uh, going to be zero as well. But just in terms of uh, positions of whether it could be, you can set that to random and that should do it for you. Uh, if that doesn't work, leave me a comment and I will look up in further detail about uh, how you can actually do this. Now, to count down on a timer, I know I'm probably going to be running a little bit short on time here. Uh, all you have to do is, first, uh, first let's go ahead and change our integer attribute. If you're counting down from a number, so let's say you're counting down from uh, 5, you would just change your timer to 5, go back, select your timer, and then in that rule you created, just set it so that uh, when game.timer, and set it is greater than or or is less than or equal to, I think less than, well, let's just uh, check it out. Yeah, less than or equal to zero, uh, then you can subtract time. And all that's going to say is that way when the timer hits zero, it's not going to keep going into the negatives. So that's what it's... Uh, that's what it's going to be telling you right there. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, any questions, please feel free to post a comment. And until next time, please rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Peace.